LA Workout Apparel, look good while you sweat yourself to help. Many great looks for a beautiful you. Sweat in style and LA Apparel at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Sweat in style at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Get your LA Apparel now. Do you like being unique, being the only one with your style? Check out Cage City, the fashion forward store that sells bespoke and up and coming exclusive brands. At Cage City, a high quality handmade section as well as vintage. Cage City is all about wearing what you want to wear and making you feel good wherever you are. Check out Cage City on www.lutgradionetwork.com. That's lutgradionetwork.com. For the online store for the stylish free spirit, Cage City, on the LUTG Radio Network.com. Smart Fares has Smart Fares just for you. Now save up to 70% on your airfares, plus get an extra $15 off at LUTG Radio Network.com. Go to LUTG Radio Network.com for the promo code. That's up to 70% off on your airfares, plus an extra $15 off. Get the promo code at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. That's LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, for thou art worthy. Hallelujah. All right, y'all. Today is October 7th, 2013. Amen, amen, amen. And it's about 46 degrees right now. Cold, rainy, and it's going to get up to a, a big old 67 today in the shot. Uh, well, I guess we're blessed because just about everywhere else around the world, that is, uh, there's thunderstorms, lightning, tornadoes over the weekend, crazy weather. We're blessed. All right, y'all, with our blessed sales, we got uh, the altar call coming up in the last five minutes of this segment, and we got my piece about halfway through in about 13, 14 minutes, and we got music, definitely. Remember to be a blessing, be encouraging. Because so, some young lady or some young man may want to, I don't know, be a doctor. And who are you to tell them that they can't? Just because nobody in your in your family ever went to school or ever done anything. Or maybe they went to school, but nobody is in the profession that they went to school for. If they feel like they want to be a doctor or, I don't know, they want to be an entertainer, encourage them. Remember, tell them whatever you want to do, always learn the business side of whatever you want to do. That way nobody can ever cheat you. Learn the laws for whatever business you want to do. So if you want to be a sports writer or, or an athlete or whatever, learn the business side, learn the laws. Always read the bylaws, whatever it is, the terms of your contract. Don't just trust your lawyer to read the terms of your contract. You read the terms of your contract as well. So, encourage them. Encourage them to be smart. Alright? Alrighty then. Hey, amen. Glory to God and definitely pray. Because I tell you, the least educated can all can sometimes get over those that are educated and trying to swindle people. Uh-huh. Uh, I just got this. I was thinking about this earlier because I had been thinking about this for a while. Uh, there are some people that are being called to be moved to another position in the kingdom and in, in, uh, in the things of God. And they absolutely refuse to move. They refuse to give up the current title because they think the next title is going to be less than what <laughs> than their current title. How many of y'all know that God always gives you rest periods between titles? It sometimes is brief, sometimes it's a little bit longer, but He's always trying to do. He's always out to do better for you. So don't worry so much about holding on to a title. Really. 
Because when you get out, remember, when you get outside of the will of God, it's like Adam. It gets harder and harder and harder. Remember, Adam was with God. And he had everything. Didn't have to toil, didn't have to work for nothing. Then comes the curse. He had to toil and sweat and work for this and work for that and bananas. So, stay within the will of God. Matter of fact, do what Jesus did or what God did for Jesus. Jesus was messing up. He, he, him and his boys, he was like, hey, uh, who, got a, who got a sword? Who got some money? We're going to fight this. That was the flesh, Jesus. And then, <laughs> when Peter, <laughs> Peter, who's always up for a physical fight, was like, hey, cut off that ear. And Jesus was like, oh my goodness, that's my child too. That's, he's a part of me too. He healed the man and surrendered. But before he surrendered, God sent angels to Jesus to strengthen him for the spiritual fight. So, God can strengthen you too for your next phase. So, stop worrying about what's going to happen with this thing that you built. Don't worry about it. Let God handle it. He'll take care of it. Because by you disobeying Him, it's dwindling down to nothing anyway. So, you might as well give it to Him. Give it to God. Alright? Here we go, Ebony Archer. Get back up. That's for somebody out there.
it's cold out here. And I agree it is cold out here. But I'ma keep walking and then I'ma encourage you to keep walking by faith. Let's see what God got for us, yo. LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at LUTGRadio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. Save on ink and toner. Top quality, fast delivery, low prices, double ink at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. That's double ink at LUTGRadioNetwork.com.
At SellSwitch, we know how important saving money is to you, our customers. So whether it's finding you the best deal on your mortgage or giving you a great insurance quote, we'll do it. Let us do the hard work for you. This is what we do. We are experts at giving you the best deals on your insurance, your mortgages, your life insurance. We love working hard for you at SellSwitch. So if you're in the UK and you need medical insurance or you want to check out the new rates, check out a free quote online at www.outgradionetwork.com. Amen, amen, amen. All right, y'all, it's about the time for my piece. This is where I give you <clears throat> sort of like an opinion, either of me or some situation or something that occurred or whatnot. <laughs> oh. All right, so uh, I wasn't going to mention this, uh, not just because I'm trying to... Uh, be better than anybody or anything but you know how I like to give you examples or incidences of that happens around town <laughs> well yesterday I was coming from the burbs and um you know from other cities and whatnot I was driving doing a little bit of driving yesterday and I happened to get back into the city and I was like, oh, man, uh, let me see if they got this thing on sale at this store where they had, you know, out there, out out where I was. Because, you know, I just want to see if I can get it cheaper. So I went into the store. And I'm thinking, okay, cool. And I'm like, man, something's off. Something's off. And I'm like, that's so weird. And I kept smelling it and kept smelling it and kept smelling it. And I'm like, oh, Jesus, what is that? It didn't smell like somebody died. It didn't smell like body odor. Have you guys ever smelled that perfume that's really strong? You know what I'm talking about. And some people you would call it sexy. It's like a European cologne. It smells like roach spray. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, gay women would wear that. Not some straight women would wear it too, but. Uh, I had noticed later on as the as the popularity of that clone was dying down, it was sort of like a signature thing. I'm like, ah. So, <clears throat> I come across another signature cologne. And it's one of those things that you can make uh, from your own, uh, you can buy like bath oils and mix up your own mixture. So this was something that somebody put on on purpose. It wasn't a body odor. I mean, I've stood next to homeless people and they have smelled better. I've stood, I've worked with a woman whose insides were literally dying and rotting. Her uterus was rotting as she was sitting there breathing. And <clears throat> I know the smell of dying flesh. You could be breathing, but another part of you is dying. I know the smell. It's awful. That smelled better. I've been, oof. I've seen dead bodies and I've smelled dead bodies. That smelled better than this. I have no clue what these people mixed up. I'm not going to say male or female. I have no clue what they mixed up and put on themselves. But this ain't the first time. This time, this particular scent smelled worse than... You ever been uh, near uh, a kid's baseball team? When they're just going through puberty and they don't know that they should wear deodorant. Imagine 30 boys that run through the alley whose armpits and feet are stinking. They smell better than what I smelled yesterday. Uh-huh. So to all you folks <laughs> that mix up your own cologne, I ain't got nothing. I ain't against it. But try, try to put some, I don't know, some honey in it, something that smells sweet, I don't know, some, mix some brown sugar with some water and pour off the liquid from it and put that in there or just put a little bit of brown, a few sprinkles of brown sugar so it smells sweet because you be turning our stomach, we want to vomit. It's so bad that it makes your head hurt. I don't believe they sick. And the reason why I don't is because there's people from many different age groups that smell that way, that are in that particular group. So it's not sickness. It's something they make and put on. I've even asked people 
And they told me, oh, it's a cologne. We make our own cologne. Find another type, because that ain't working. <laughs> it ain't working. Trust me. It ain't working. It ain't working. Now, if you're trying to smell like a skunk or worse than a skunk, it's working. But if you're trying to get people to draw to you, it ain't working. I enough said. <laughs> that stuff was terrible. <laughs> oh man. All right, y'all. We got that altar call coming up in less than five. Here's Mama Chill. I can't stand the rain. Since that's a 
Alrighty, that's it. If you, if you want to give to that cause, M-E, it is a medical condition. You, uh, that's what Mama Chia was talking about, medical condition. Um, you can check her out on MySpace. Just type in Mama Chia. And, um, hey, she has a little a thing on there where you can give to uh, help with the research. So check out Mama Chia. All right. Um, we, it is about that time for the altar call. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have an everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And, well, that's you. That's you. That's me. Jesus absolutely loves us. And he only wants the best for us. It, I know some of you guys are thinking, how can you speak about this Jesus with all this tragedy? How can you speak about Jesus when so-and-so is sick and they're not recovering? Yeah, Jesus is, is, is real no matter what's going on in the world. He's very much alive and he's very much real. He did down the cross for your sins. He did take the punishment for your healing. So, you actually need to claim it. He gave you a mouth to speak. And for those that, I don't know, cannot, don't have the use of their vocal cords, he gave you another way to speak. It's called your spirit. Speaking spirit is what he called you. That's oh, well, I don't know how to access that. Well, he gave you another thing. It's called a mind. Yeah, that's the thing that gets saved. So you have many ways of speaking. He also gave you another option. Fingers, sign language. You can write stuff down. Type it out. God can hear you no matter what, which vehicle you use. You just got to believe. And believing, simply believing, and that comes from the heart, strongest tool you got. So you can say within yourself, I believe I am healed in the name of Jesus. I receive my healing. See, you never, ever, ever let anything linger. The, before you even notice anything going on, you, you say upon yourself, my youth is renewed like the eagles. I am healthy and whole all the days of my long blessed life. Every second I breathe, I live to glorify God. See, these are things that you say and you cover yourself. You don't wait till you get sick. You cover yourself beforehand. You're like, oh, well, I didn't know that. Start covering yourself now. Some people go, so, look, I know some people go through it and they deliver and they heal afterwards. How will God deal with you on that? I have no clue. But I do know, he said, by his stripes you are healed. And if you have the faith to believe that you are healed now, then believe it. Go back to the doctor and get your report that says I'm completely healed. Just let the doctor find it for himself and he'll be telling he or she'll be telling you, Wow, you're completely healed. It's not that I'm not finding anything. There's nothing there to find. So trust Jesus. He got your back. He got you. If you would like to receive forgiveness of your sins as well as be healed upon uh, the receipt of salvation, now is the time. Repeat this prayer confession after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sin before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Go to, uh, to LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Click on the link, find a church, get baptized at water, take your foundation class.
your prayer intercessory class. And remember, Jesus loves you, beloved, and so do I. Tell me you got saved on the LUTG Radio. Follow me to segment number three, which is the birthdays. Amen? Jesus loves you. Jesus te llamo querida. Amen, amen, amen. Otra segmente. And uh, cinco 